Good day, students. Today, our main subtopic under decimal fraction is division and multiplication of decimal fraction. So today, what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to divide and multiply a given decimal fraction. Let's see how to divide decimal fractions. Before you can divide a given decimal fraction, the first thing you have to do is to balance the decimal numbers as usual. The time is 1.30 a.m. Is to balance the decimal numbers. And then after balancing the decimal numbers, you change the decimal fractions to common fractions. When you change the decimal fractions to common fractions, because we are dealing with the division here, the sign or the division sign will change to multiplication. The division sign will change to multiplication. And immediately the sign change to multiplication, the reciprocal affects the number that follow the multiplication sign. And when we talk about the reciprocal, we are referring to the inverse of numbers. Inverse of numbers means turning the number outside down. You turn the numbers upside down. We see number B terrace and a friendly inverse, okay? Uh -huh. That is the reciprocal. So when they ask you what is the reciprocal of this number, or if I ask you, a reciprocal of a certain number, you try to upside a certain number down, okay? Which means that the numerator will be the denominator and the denominator will be the numerator. We see number Nitrase and your friend reciprocal. And listen, every number or every county number has a reciprocal except zero, okay? So every whole number is over one, two. So keep in mind, so when they ask you what is the reciprocal of two, you have to keep in mind, say, two over one, that is two. Every whole number is two. Every whole number is two, like the two that I'm talking about here. So two over one is the same as two. Three over one is the same as three. That is why every whole number is over one, okay? So therefore, the reciprocal of two is one over two because initially is two over one then when you upside the two over one you get one over two multiplication means you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators so when you turn the numbers upside down then you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators and later you turn your answer into decimal fraction and then you are done. Now, reciprocal, what is reciprocal? Reciprocal means turning the number upside down. That means the inverse of a certain number. Because the inverse, you see number B trace, and now say, oh, turn the number B upside down, up. There was a better form, and the all form is of course, a slow that is upside down okay and every number has a reciprocal except zero remember i said every whole number is over one that is why two over one is the same as two ten over one is the same as ten twenty over one is the same as twenty into number b a kind of a over one to part two dreams are so example write down the reciprocal of the following numbers and fractions below okay so we are going to solve and write the reciprocal of these numbers here so let me write my solution here Now, A, 
that is two. The reciprocal here, we know that two is a whole number and we know every whole number is over one. So two is the same as two over one. So the reciprocal of two over one, now that you are going to turn the number upside down. So this number here will be turning upside down here. So which means that the two will be at this side and then the one will be at the top here. So our final answer here will be one over two. Okay. That is one over two. Let's see the eight, the B. The reciprocal of eight, fraction for eight is eight over one. Okay. Eight over one is the same as eight. So let's see the reciprocal of eight over one. We are turning the number upside down. So here will be one over eight, okay? Because the one will be at the top and the eight will be at the bottom here. Now we have this C. C, we have nine. Reciprocal of a nine. Nine is a whole number, okay? This is not a fraction. So we have to write the fraction for a whole number. The whole number be an fraction denominator near one. So here is nine over one. Therefore, reciprocal of nine over one is one over nine because you turn the number upside down, okay? So that will be the inverse of nine is one over nine. Now let's see the D. The D here, we have two over five, okay? Two over five is already in fraction, okay? This is a fraction form. The two is the numerator and the five is the denominator. So the reciprocal here means there's no need, to, it's already in fraction. So you obtain this number upside down and this one will be here. So the final answer here will be five over two, okay? The E, the reciprocal of E, which is seven over nine is equal to nine over seven. Then the F, the reciprocal of F is already a fraction. Six over five is a fraction. So there's no need to turn this number into a fraction. It's already in fraction. So when you have a fraction like this, just write the inverse or you upside the numbers down here and that will be five over six okay so always the reciprocal means you turning the number upside down or the inverse of the number we see number need classic say a whole number before you write the whole number whole number be an fraction in denominator near one that is why always all counting numbers are divisible by one and that number make it the same as the same as that counting number okay that is why we have the two over one is the same as two. 30 over one is the same as 30, okay? Try work. What are the reciprocal of the following number here? So you try this one and tell me the answer and let's solve them together. Take your sheet of paper and let's work it now. Good. Now, division and multiplication of decimal fractions. Let's solve this one. How to divide two given decimal fractions? When we're given two decimal fractions, remember we said first you balance the decimal numbers and then later you turn them into fractions. Okay, so let me write my solution here.
Good. Now the first one here, let me put my solution to this side. Now we have 1.5 divided by 0 0.5. If you want to balance this one, the decimal numbers here, they are having the same decimal number, which is 1, 1. And then you put the place value digit at the top before you change them into what? Into fraction. You know, the decimal numbers always start with what? The tens, and here also start with the tens. Since the five is placed under the tens, which means that the entire number here is going to be divided by 10. So therefore, our fraction for this one will be 15 over 10. Okay divide by, and here will be 0, 0,5, which is the same as 5 over 10, because the last decimal number here is placed under the 10. You know, the decimal number, the place value, they get start from the things, which start from where? From the left side, okay, of the decimal numbers. So that is the thing. You don't have ones, in the decimal numbers. Now, once we have this one, we have changed our decimal fraction into fraction. Now we still have our division sign here. So the second rule says what? The sign, division sign will change to multiplication sign. So this sign here will change to multiplication sign. This sign will change to multiplication sign. So we still have our 15 over 10, and then it will change to multiplication sign. And when this sign change to multiplication sign here, the reciprocal will affect the number that follow the sign. So these are the fraction that follow the sign. So the reciprocal will affect this sign. Okay, okay. So now we have 10 over five, okay? And remember multiplication means you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. When you have the multiplication, you will not change multiplication again. So here will be 15 times 10, so they are the denominators, the numerators right there, and now we have the 10 times five. That is the denominator here. So when you have this one here, you can do the cancellation, the last zero of this numerator can cancel the last zero of this denominator, okay? Now we have, 15 times the remaining one here. Now we have 15 times one all over one times five. We can also do the cancellation here. I think we can use, we always use the numerator to cancel the denominator, or you can also use the denominator to cancel the numerator. So now let me do the cancellation here. I, it seems we can use the five to cancel the 15. So five goes to itself here, one, five cancel 15, three, okay. Let me write it for, here is three, okay. Now we still have three times one all over 
all over one times one. And three times one is three, and one times one is also one. And remember we said every whole number is over one, so three over one is the same as what? Three, okay? That's our first one here. The time is 1.45 a.m. Now our second one here, we have zero point eight divided by zero point four zero. Now first thing you have to do is that you balance the decimal numbers. Here is only one, here is only two. So you'll be adding one zero to this one, making it two. Okay. And because they have two decimal numbers each, it means we are going to divide them by 100, or you can indicate what the place value they get here. So let's see, here is this tens, and here is 100, okay? Here is 10, and here is also what? 100. Since the last digit of decimal number is placed under the 100, the entire number here is going to be divided by 100. And since the last digit here is also placed by 100, the entire number here is going to be divided by 100. So here, our fraction will be 0, 08, 0, 080 over 100, okay? Divide by 040, remember 040 is the same as 40, okay, over 100, because the last digit of the decimal here is placed under the 100, that is why we divide this one by 100. Now we have 80 over 100 divided by 40 over 100. I remember we said when you are dealing with the division, the sign will change to what? multiplication sign. So this sign will change to multiplication sign. And the moment the sign change, the reciprocal will affect the number that follow the sign. And the only fraction that follow the sign is 40 over 100. So the reciprocal will affect the 40 over 100, or you write the reciprocal of 40 over 100. Now we have 80 over 100 here times then the reciprocal of 40 over 100 will be 100 over 40. Okay, good. And multiplication means what? Multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. So now we have our numerators to be 80 times 100 all over 100 times 40, okay? Now don't forget about using the last digit of the numerators of zeros to cancel the last digit of the denominators. That is a zero. So here, the last digit zero here will cancel this zero. The next zero here will cancel this zero. Always only the numerator and the denominator can be used to cancel. You can use the numerator to cancel the numerator. And then you can use the denominator to cancel the denominator. Okay? So always the numerator will cancel the what? The numerator. Now we can use zeros. It's easy to cancel them. Now, looking at this one here, after cancel the zeros for both numerator and the denominator, we have eight times one. Here it's left with only one, here it's left with only eight, all over one times four, 
okay good and eight times one is eight and then one times four is also four okay when you reach here you can do the cancellation four goes here one four goes here two okay now we have two over one and two over one is the same as two that is why every whole number is over one so two over one is the same as two okay good let's solve the c the c we have 2.4 zero divide by zero point two okay so when you have this one first thing you have to do is that you balance the decimal numbers here it has only two decimal numbers here only one so you'll be adding zero to this one so that they have the same decimal numbers here when you finish you indicate the position of the numbers, the place value they get, and here is 100 things, and here is 100, okay? Remember here, the decimal numbers here, the place value they get start from the things, and then followed by 100 in the order. You don't have ones in decimal numbers. You have only ones in the whole numbers, okay? Good. Now, since the last digit of this one number here is placed under the 100, therefore the entire number here is going to be divided by 100. Okay, so we have 240 over 100. Because fraction, we don't have point in a fraction. Okay, divide by 0 20 over 100 okay now once you have changed them into fractions the next step is what the sign the division sign here is going to change to multiplication sign okay and remember the middle is the sign change here to multiplication sign the reciprocal of the number that follow or the fraction that follow will be the 100 over 20 or the reciprocal will affect only 20 over 100 and that will be 100 over 20. So here we still have the reciprocal will not affect the number that what begin the sign only affect those number after the sign. Okay, so we still have our 240 over 100 here. And the sign, division sign will change to multiplication sign. It changes the reciprocal affect the number or the fraction that follow. And here will be 100 over 20. Okay. Remember, 0, 20, the same as 20. And here, multiplication means what? You multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. Now we have the 240 times 100, okay? All over. Then you multiply the denominators. The denominators are 100 times 20. Okay. Now you start doing the cancellation. You cancel the zeros, the last zeros. The last zero here will cancel the last zeros. Only when you cancel the numerator, make sure that you cancel the denominator. You can only cancel the numerators and the denominators. The last zero here will cancel this. And therefore, the last zero here will also cancel this one. Now we have twenty four 
only 24 left here and here to only one left 24 times 1 all over 1 times 2 okay so you can also cancel here to the 2 cancel here 1 and the 2 cancel 24 12 okay we still have 12 times 1 over 1 times 1 then 12 times 1 will give you 12 over 1 times 1 will also give you 1 so 12 over 1 is the same as what 12 good so always you balance the decimal numbers you indicate the position then you change them into fraction you change the sign the division sign into multiplication sign you change it into multiplication sign the fraction or the number that follow the multiplication sign the reciprocal will affect that number don't forget about that okay it's a sign you change you call multiplication now you have also change what the other fraction that follow the inverse of that or you write the reciprocal of that now let's try this one work this one and let's solve it dividing decimal fraction by whole number or whole number by decimal fraction. Yeah, but check. So when you refer to a bit by decimal fraction by a whole number, or and I say divide the whole number by decimal fraction, or decimal fraction by decimal fraction. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, in this case, you write your solution here. So the first one, we have 5.5 5 divide by 5. This 5 is not a decimal fraction, okay? So there's no way you can balance the decimal words, decimal numbers here. So the only thing is that you have to change them into fraction. And I mean, you can say whole number be you over one. So when you change this one into fraction, remember you write the decimal place here. So here, the decimal number here is placed under the 10. So which means that the entire number here is going to be derived by 10. So here will be 55 over 10 divide by and five the fraction for five is five over one every whole number is over one okay and then remember we said when you change them into fraction the sign here that is the division sign we change to multiplication sign and immediately it will change then the reciprocal will affect this side okay so here we have 55 over 10 then times because the division sign always change to multiplication sign so here times the moment it will change here the reciprocal will affect the number that follow the sign. And the only number that follow the sign is five over one. So the reciprocal of five over one will be one over five, okay? Good. Now, when you have this one, multiplication means where you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators, which is 55 times one all over 
10 times 5. Okay. So here you can do the translation. 5 goes here 1. 5 cancel 55, 11. Now we have 11 times 1. The time is 2 o'clock a.m. Or over 10 times 1. Okay. 11 times 1 will give you 11 or over 10. Okay. Then you leave your answer in decimal fraction. Because it's over 10, you don't waste much time here. You will start moving the point from the back here. And this step will cancel this zero. And that will be one point. And our answer here will be one point. One, okay. Good. Let's see the question two. Question two, we have zero point eight zero divide by two. Okay. This two is not a decimal fraction. There is no point here. So there's no way you are going to balance the decimal numbers. So go ahead and then you change them into fractions. So changing decimal fractions into fraction here, you write or you indicate the position of the numbers that will enable you to know whether this number is placed under the tens or placed under the hundred. So now here is 10 and here is 100, which means that the 0 0.80 is going to be divided by 100. Now we have 80 over 100 divided by 2 over 1 because the fraction for any whole number is over 1. 2 over 1 is the same as what? 2. Okay. So it's a number near a whole number there. Then your decimal number is here and a fraction here over 1. Very good. So here the sign will change to multiplication sign. The division sign here will change to multiplication sign. So we have our 80 over 100 times. So sign it change say pair. Therefore, among what sign any you know who better So you write the inverse of that number. That is the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of two over one will be one over two. Okay. And then multiplication means you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominator, which will be the eighty times one, that is the numerator, and then 100 times two, that is the denominator, okay? Then here you can use the zeros to cancel the zeros here, the last digits. So the last zero here will cancel the zero. When you're done, you still have the eight times one because here when you cancel the zero, it will level with will the eight, and here it's level with the ten times two. You can also do cancellation here. Two cancel a seven one and two cancel the eight four. Okay. We always use the numerator to cancel the denominator or the denominator to cancel the numerator. You cannot cancel the numerator and the numerator or the denominator and the denominator. That is wrong. Always cancel the top one and the down one. 
okay now we have four times one all over ten times one okay which is four over ten and four over ten you have to leave your answer in decimal okay four over ten you waste do not waste my time the point will be here so your answer is point four for this point here or this curve or this step will cancel this zero okay so the answer is point four or point four or zero point four they are the same point four is the same as zero point four okay number b and any one there's zero now so point four is the same as zero point four let's solve the other one you have 24 this one is the whole number divided by decimal fraction 24 divided by 0 0.4 so you have to change them into fraction okay this one is the whole number so there's no need to balance you can't balance this whole number being all decimal numbers only decimal fraction corner or decimal numbers so don't waste time this decimal number here is placed under the tens so which means that the entire decimal fraction here is going to be divided by 10. I remember I said the whole numbers are always over one so now we have 24 over one divided by the fraction for 24 is 24 over one over zero four over ten okay because the last decimal number here is placed under the 10. there's no need to compare to 24 because 24 is not a decimal fraction okay good so just change that decimal fraction to the common fraction now when you finish changing them into fraction then the sign the division sign will change to multiplication sign so now we have our 24 over 1 times then the moment the division sign change to multiplication the reciprocal will affect the number or the fraction that follows so here the reciprocal of 4 over 10 is 10 over 4 okay 0 4 is the same as 4 now multiplication means you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators now we have the 24 times 10 okay or over 1 times 4 so you can also cancel these numbers here you cancel 24 5 4 and that will give you 6 so let me find a certain number to cancel. So 4 goes here, 1, 4 goes into 24, that will be 6. Okay. So you have reduced the numbers. Now we have 6 times 10 over 1 times 1. And now we have 60 over 1 
and 60 over 1 is the same as 60. Okay. Hmm. Now, the last one here, you have 12 divided by 0 0.6. So the fraction for 12, you have to change them into fraction. Fraction for 12 is 12 over one. Every whole number is over one in the fraction number. So divide 0 0.6, it will be six over 10, okay? Good. Now, when you finish changing them into fraction, then the sign, division sign will change to what? to multiplication sign. Then here will be 12 here will be 12 over 1 times sign the change here the reciprocal will affect okay will affect the number that follow here and that one will be 10 over six. Multiplication means you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. Now we have the 12 times 10 all over one times six. Then you do the cancellation. Six goes here one, three goes into 12, two, okay? Now we have two times ten all over one times one, and that will be twenty over one, and twenty over one is the same as twenty, okay? That is the answer. Now, let's see the multiplication of decimal fraction here. Multiplication of decimal fractions means what? You change the fractions, you change to fractions and then you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the what? The denominators. The multiplication in the sign B and G. And no answer, it's already in multiplication sign data. So, the reciprocal will not affect any number here. Okay, so let's see this one here. Write the solution. Good. Now you have five. Point five times five. You change them into fractions, so here we fifty five over ten, okay? Times five over one. We call the fraction of five over. You got a sign is already a multiplication sign. The reciprocal will not affect anything, and you are not going to change anything here. So the multiplication means what? You multiply the numerator, which will be fifty-five times five, all over ten times one. Okay. Five times five is two seven five. Two seven five. You must work it somewhere, okay? Over ten. So because it's over ten, you know waste my time. You make only one movement, which will cancel this step here. So the final answer here 
will be 27.5 okay that is our answer now the second solution here we have 0 0.8 the time is 2.15 a.m. 0 0.80 times 2, okay? We change this one into fraction. This one will be 80 over 100 times this one will be 2 over 1. Every whole number is over 1. Because I multiplication that then so, so reciprocal will not work here okay so you have to multiply the numerators which will be 80 times 2 all over 100 times 1 then you do the cancellation the last zero will cancel this zero Okay, now you have, you have 8 times 2 will give you 16, and here is 10 times 1 will give you 10, because it's already here, you make only one movement, okay, the point this one will cancel this. So the final answer here is equal to 1.6. Okay? 1.6. Now, second one here is 24. That is 24. times 0 0.4. So you change them into fraction 24, the fraction, every whole number is over one. So here will be 24 over one times, here will be four over 10 because 0 0.4, the place value here is 10 because Four here, this one number here is placed under the 10, the entire number is going to be divided by 10. That is why 0, 4 is the same as 4, that is why I wrote. So, multiplication here, you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. Now we have 24 times 4 as numerators and then 1 times 10. Okay? 24 times 4 times 96. So now you have 96 over 10. Because 96 over 10, you make only one movement starting from the back. The point will be here. This one will cancel the one zero. And the final answer here. will be 9.6, okay, so 9.6. Now we have, let me solve the E, okay. We have 0 0.5, because my board is getting full. 0 0.5 times 0 0.2. Now we change them into fraction. Because they are all decimal, you need to balance first. But we're having the same one decimal number here. So here is 10. Here is 10, which means that the other decimal fraction is going to be divided by 10. So now we have this one. So we have five 
over 10 times 2 over 10. Multiplication means you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. Now we have 5 times 2 all over 10 times 10. Okay. 5 times 2 will give you 10 all over 10 times 10 will also give you 100. Because we have two zeros, we are going to make two movements from the back. One to the point will be here. So our final answer will be point one zero or zero point one zero. Okay. Good. Point one zero. Even when you reach here, you can do the cancellation ten over one hundred. One zero here will cancel this one zero. Now we have we have one over ten and one over ten because we have only one movement. We start from here, which will cancel this zero. And the answer is 0.1 or 0.1. They are the same. Even 0 0.10 is the same as 0.1. Okay. Good. So first, if they are all decimal numbers, you balance. If they are not, you just change the decimal into fraction and the whole number into fraction. Changing whole number into fractions means you make it over one. And if there's a division, you change the division sign to multiplication sign. And immediately you change the division sign to multiplication sign. The reciprocal affects the number that follow the sign or the fraction that follow the sign. Okay? On the right side. Good. So then the reciprocal means what? It means turning upside down or the inverse of the number, okay? Or supposing it classic, say one over two are a two over one, say three over two, so a two over three. That's the end of our lesson here. Thank you.